popular coffee chain Luckin Coffee has caused an online sensation with the release of their newest drink, the Mo Tai Latte. If you don't live in China, you probably wouldn't know that Mo Tai is one of the most famous alcoholic beverages in China. With its very distinct bottle, 50 to 60% alcohol content and drunken Mao Tai uncles, it is known all across China and is almost synonymous with like real men. Only the strongest, bravest men dare to touch Mao Tai. So when Luck and Coffee announced their newest latte containing Mao Tai, netizens lost their minds. On the first day of sales, the Mao Tai latte broke all records with single product sales exceeding 5.42 million cups on the first day, exceeding a record-breaking 100 million yuan. Now, I'm a huge fan of Luck and Coffee and I drink a vanilla iced latte for about 9.9 .9 yuan almost every single day. I've recently seen the lemon and orange Americanos and I just can't get myself to try it. But of course, a multi latte, this I have to try. So come with me today as we taste this newest, unique, albeit somewhat strange latte in China. All right, so I got my Mo Tai latte and they recommended uh, to take it with zero sugar and whipped cream, but I just can't drink coffee without sugar, so I took half sugar and whipped cream. So let's take a sip of this one. Now remember, Mo Tai has 50 to 60% alcohol content, but they said that this milk is infused with, I think, 0.5%. So let's give it a, a nice swirl. Oh my. Oh, you know what it tastes like? Mmm. It's kind of like um like an Irish coffee, but you can tell it's not the usual alcohol that they use with Irish coffee. It's good. Mmm. Oh that's good. Oh that you can taste the alcohol. Now a lot of people have commented had said that it oh it just tastes like chocolate. That does not taste like chocolate at all. Like I expected it to have a chocolatey taste because so many people have said it, but it really doesn't. Mm. It tastes like an Irish coffee, but with baiju. Because <laughs> that's what it is, essentially. Mm. Wait, I wonder if this will make you drunk. Because I still have to ride my bike. Now, as I mentioned before, I'm a huge fan of luck and coffee, okay? I prefer it over every other coffee. I've tried Starbucks, I've tried Kati Coffee, which is, I don't even know where that's from, if that's a Chinese company or not. They all are just terrible compared to Luckin. I don't know, there's something about Luckin that just is really, really good. So when I saw this, that they posted this, I figured, well, I drink a Luckin coffee every day, almost every day anyway, because they have these coupons that they send daily and I pay 9 yuan 90 per coffee every day. So if you drink a 9 yuan coffee every day, it's not that expensive, right? Usual price, like 34 for a Starbucks coffee, are you joking? And it tastes like water, essentially. Mm -mm. So I'm already a huge fan of Luck and Coffee, so I figured I want to stop drinking Luck and Coffees because maybe it's not the best thing to do on a daily basis. But then I figured today that would be a bit of a treat, so why not? Auntie, I'm drinking my multi over here. You guys, I wish I could describe it. I don't even know how to describe it though. It's like, it's a little bit sweet because I took half sugar. I'm curious if the, the regular one would be sweet in any way. It's a little bit sweet, but it's also a little bit alcoholy, but like, in a good way. Mm. Now, just as a side note, I have never in my life had multi before. Never, because it's like synonymously known with like 
you just don't drink that you don't let it touch your skin even um usually if you see the uncles in the street walking with their bottles of multi you're like whoa this uncle this is a man right here <laughs> so i can't say it tastes like i don't think i've ever even had any kind of mind you because it's just a dangerous alcohol mm. so i can't really say that it tastes the same because i've never had it but it's good mm. i would highly recommend it Mm. Cheers, you guys. So, hey, listen, be sure to let me know down in the comments have you heard of Motai? In English, it's called Motai. Chinese is Motai. Have you heard of it? Have you had it? Have you heard of this alcoholic coffee being sold in coffee shops across China? Have you tried it? What do you think about it? Would you try it? And uh, yeah, let me know your thoughts down below.